Okay, so today I went to this expo in Tinley Park. It's called Discover Tinley Park X. Discover Tinley Expo. I was going to say park, but I guess that's what they call it. And it showcases stuff in and around Tinley Park. Um, I think a lot of the booths had stuff from Tinley Park. Um, they had free stuff they were giving away. And there was also like a, a giveaway and also game show that you could uh, play on. It was a trivia thing, contest or whatever. You, you would get free stuff for participating or, you know, gift cards for uh, winning. Um, I think my mom and my brother both got uh, $10 gift cards for some local businesses. Now oh, this is stuff that, there's a map of the area, what they had and stuff. This is where they had the, uh, the little game show that they had going on. I'll show you the stuff that I got. I got a whole bunch of stuff. Let's start off with this thing, this item right here. The bag. I got a bunch of stuff in here. Um, a lot of people, you know, like getting these, and they grab a whole bunch. I think I grabbed a couple, from, one from each booth. But we'll start off with this. Um, it's a muscle car calendar. Um, not sure what this. It says uh, AAA One USA Auto Title Loans. Um, they had a calendar, and I picked it up because I like cars. Not really sure what car that is. That green one. We'll flip through it. The weird thing is that the year has already started, and this calendar starts in December 2015, so you don't really get much use out of it. So we'll start off with this car. It says 69 Olds 442 Convertible. Go to the next month. This one says 69 Chevy Camaro. Some of these you might be able to guess by looking at them. I'm, I'm not really that good at that. It's a 70 Dodge. Uh, Dart Swinger. This one's a 73 Mercury Cougar convertible. Uh, this one's a 71 Chevy El Camino. You can tell because it has a bed, like a truck bed in the back. It looks like a fancy house in the back here. Okay, next one I have is this 68 Plymouth Roadrunner. Next one. Uh, 70 Dodge Super B. Okay, we're back on. It's the 66 Plymouth Belvedere 2. Next one is uh, 71 Ford Mustang Mach 1. You can tell it's a Mustang, mainly by that little ornament there. It's a Mustang or horse. But it also says Mach, and I think a lot of Mustangs that were Mach 1s say it on there. I don't think any other brand has that. Okay, next one is a 68 Buick GS400. And 73 Ford Grand Torino Sport. Uh, a 66 Corv Chevy Corvette. This one I knew what it was. I knew it was a Corvette at least. Uh, next one. Does not say what it is. So if you know what it is or if I can find it. I don't know what it is. It looks like it could be a Lincoln or something. Here's the logo right there. Ford. But um don't know what that is if you want to leave a comment on that you can go ahead if you want and this is from December nice calendar um, I probably won't hang it up I already got a calendar like this upstairs in my bedroom okay we'll go with some of the other junk I get this cup the color changer you put uh, cold liquids it changes the dark red it's already a light red and it came with a lid too unfortunately they didn't give me a straw I put an ice cube in there to you know, make it uh, change that color. Also got another cup. Like a party cup and stuff. Let's see. A bookmark. I always use bookmarks. This one's kind of a nice one. I think it's a religious one. A magnet. What else we got? Well, I got this. It's from a place called Texas Roadhouse. Um, I'm not sure how... Uh, this isn't really that local. I think they have these all over the country. But this is a toy that they probably gave out to kids at their restaurants. It says 18 plus months on it. So it says Andy Armadillo plush toy. You can give it to your dog or your cat or something. Let's see. Next thing I have... This CNN, CN Railroad Company, 
Um, I think they have a headquarters in Illinois, and that could be why uh, they they were at this uh, convention, expo, whatever. It's a lanyard. Put your keys or whatever you want. Next thing I have, this metal uh, travel mug. Um, they had where you spun the wheel and you could pick and you got a prize. Um, this is what it landed on. It says First Merchants. A nice metal with uh, plastic. And I also put some candy in here from the booth that I went to. A whole bunch of that. Um, Lions Club gave this out. Yeah, Lions Club. Yeah, yeah. all these chocolates. Milky Way Mint. That's a good one. Way back up. This is mainly for coffee, but I think you can probably use it for colder liquids. I don't really drink that much coffee. Next, I got this like spaghetti string book bag, whatever. That kind of okay. Um, let's see, here's another thing. Uh, it's a. What are these things? Oh, the jar opener. You know, you put it on top of a jar. I'm gonna open it. So you put this on top of a jar. And you just uh, turn it. It helps you uh, open the jars better. Never really used them that much. Always forget about them. It's kind of nice, I guess. Next thing is a sticker. Next thing, I'm not exactly sure what it is. It's from DeVry University. And there is a DeVry campus in Tinley Park, I think. It's off uh, I-80 or whatever. Now, I think what this is, you uh, peel these little adhesive strips off. Expose the adhesive and uh, put it on the back of your phone. You could store uh, cards and stuff. I probably won't use it though. Um, next thing I got this is rubber band bracelet. It's a common thing, uh, you know, a lot of businesses or schools give out. It's from South Suburban College. There's way more options. Next thing I didn't know what, what it was at first, I thought it was a screen protector. But it says micro bluff mini uh, cleaning cloth you can have with you always. So I guess you put this in your wallet and you could uh, clean your glasses with it. It's Whitewater Canyon. That's a water park I think in the town of Timley Park. So it's like a little credit card this thing is. It's plastic not as hard as a credit card though. I'll put it back in this little bag. Okay, let's go on to the next thing. First Midwest Bank, uh, what, what do they call these, water bottles? A uh, sticker from State Farm. I think they had bigger ones, but I grabbed a small one. I like collecting stickers once in a while. Um, I got two of these. I think my mom gave me one. And here's the other one. Tinley Park uh, Junior Police Badge, and it's plastic. I think it was the police booth, obviously, that gave it out. Another rubber band bracelet says, what's it say? Friends don't count chromosomes. www.downinthesouthland.org I got a cross from one of the church booths they had. Great Clips also had a booth, because they also had a business in town. It's a little, uh... Uh, temporary tattoo for a race car. Also got a pen it's from one of the local high schools. Tinley Park High School, home of the Titans. Okay, next thing, a C and C and N railroad uh, keychain like thing. I think I remember having these as a kid. Uh, had something that said Dare on it, and I clipped it on my jacket. I think that's what a lot of kids used to do. Might clip it on one of my book bags, like when I take out places. Okay, next. I had to stop my video. Um, someone was making noise upstairs. But there's a pencil case I got at a uh, child care booth. Uh, didn't have any children, so you know, it, the company didn't impress me at all. But I did get a uh, get this it's a pencil case, plastic. Yeah, this probably cost them like maybe a couple bucks. Real nice. Um, you can probably sort all kinds of stuff in here, screws, uh, parts for Hot Wheels. They, someone also said you could store flash drives in it. Whatever, it's probably the most expensive thing here, the second most expensive thing. Another thing is Bentonhausen uh, 
keychain. A lot of these booths, they had uh, giveaways too, uh, raffles or drawings. And uh, they had one where they did hourly. Um, I participated in it, but I didn't win anything. Okay, the next thing is another bag. It says Orland Township Paul Grady Supervisor Shopping Bag. Like I said, a lot of booths like giving that stuff away. Okay, next thing, pencil. Um, this uh, little bookmark, or it's actually a ruler, measures up to six and a quarter. Yeah, six and a quarter inches. A pen and a uh, clip. I guess you can put it on your potato chips. Also has a magnet on it, so you might, you know, put it on your fridge, put a drawing or some kind of thing. Last thing. Open it here. It's like a mini first aid kit. It's nice. It's plastic. So some booths would usually give out uh, the cardboard ones, and this one might be better because I can store it in my book bag and it won't get smashed or anything. You got a few band aids in there. Probably not all that great band aids, but at least you got some. I usually put like little alcohol swabs in there, like when I go on trips and. Because a lot of times it, I cut myself, can't do nothing about it if I don't have uh, band-aids. It's a more practical item. But that's pretty much about it from this expo. It's a free event. Uh, it, the first time I ever went to it, it was in Tinley Park, Illinois at their expo center or whatever they like to call it. Um, I found it pretty much by accident because uh, I normally go to this town to shop and stuff and uh, and I think one time they had a, a St. Patrick's Day parade, and that's the reason why I found out, because I looked that up this year. But anyways, um, you can uh, like, share, comment, subscribe, and uh, have a nice day.